Franco Torelli. I'm the founder and director of training of Animal Behavior Training Concepts here in Chicago. And I want to welcome you to our second video uh, in our tutorial series that invites you to have a small window view into the many benefits of positive reinforcement training. I'm thrilled to have my first guest be my very own sweet Rhodesian Ridgeback. This is Santino, um, the love of my life and one of the best teachers I've ever had. We're gonna showcase um, a very important foundation behavior that is really my launching point when I work with any dog owner or if I work with any species of animal. Um, a friendly reminder that if your animal is demonstrating any medical or behavioral concerns, to make sure to consult your veterinary professional first so we can rule out any potential medical issue so that the training can have its full, full positive effect. So let's get started. The behavior that we're going to chat about today is what's called capturing behavior. Capturing behavior is a common training technique that we use when working with exotic animals. And what capturing behavior is, is we notice what the animal offers naturally all on their own and we reinforce it. Good. So right now Santino's offering me everything. He's offering all four on the floor, stationing, which is standing in front of me, and attention to handler. So I have three wonderful behaviors that he's offering as a great success point. I'm gonna toss a couple treats off the compass here. So usually dog owners will say, well, what are you giving the dog treats for? He's not doing anything. He's doing everything right now. He's offering so many small success points of reinforceable behavior. So capturing is noticing what your human or animal learner offers on their own, such as him stationing in front of me and looking up at me. So we're feeding two birds with one seed, so to speak. And we keep a high rate of reinforcement, which means practice this um, with um, some of their treats or their dog food, if you're working with a dog before their breakfast or dinner. Training is best served short and sweet uh, when you're working on some foundation behaviors as well. With capturing, he might even offer, if he's ready for more, he might even offer something like a sit or a down if he feels comfortable. But right now, this is our first success point. We don't want to ask for calculus equations. We want to go basic mathematics, one plus one, especially in this environment, which is you know, a bit more distracting for him as well. So he's choosing to look at me when he could be snorkeling on the floor with all the treat dust around. You're doing a beautiful job, buddy. So we hope that you have some really good initial tips to work with when you're starting off your short duration training sessions at home using food as a reinforcer and catching it good noticing when your dog is giving you the smallest success point to click and treat from i have some of his treats up in a dog food bowl too and he's not counter shopping so he's making good choices thanks to my buddy for helping out today and just a friendly reminder, if you want to learn more about myself or the previous video that I did um, before this one or future videos, that you can uh, visit uh, explorethejoyoflearningtogether.com. Thank you so much for joining me in Santino. Let's give a play bow. That was the behavior I captured when he was a puppy. You're all done. Thanks for your help. Thanks for joining us. I look forward to hearing how you integrate capturing, stationing, and attention to handler into your training with your animals as well. Take care. You did good.